The difference between dermaplaning and microdermabrasion is microdermabrasion uses a diamond crystal tip to exfoliate the skin, where dermaplaning is using a blade to exfoliate the skin. Exfoliation treatments are important because it helps get the dead skin out of the way so that your products that you're using at home can actually penetrate deeper into the skin. At home, people can exfoliate one to two times a week depending on your skin. In office treatments, you can do typically every two to four weeks. Most people are a candidate for microdermabrasion. However, if you do have more sensitive skin, it may be a treatment that you would want to consult with first just to make sure that you aren't going to have any adverse reactions. Dermaplaning is also great for most skin types. However, if you are prone to breakouts or have more oily skin, dermaplaning may not be the right treatment for you. Um, removing the dead skin and also removing the hair off of the skin can sometimes cause breakouts. So both treatments are really great for helping with exfoliating, obviously, but also help with fine lines and wrinkles and the appearance of pigmentation. You can even actually combine the two treatments together. Um, microdermabrasion is really great for exfoliating the skin. However, if you have a lot of peach fuzz on your face, dermaplaning is great for that. So you could dermaplane first and then do the microdermabrasion immediately after.